Welcome to Drinks and Chill. My name is Joe. This is Matt. And today we are listening to Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Guess what part of my body I nicknamed Pink Floyd? <laughs> yes, we're back to Pulse. The Pulse concert. Yes. We're listening to Sorrow. Sorrow. Which Sorrow. is a listening request. Yeah. Actually, multiple listening requests. Yeah, we had a few people. Um, we reacted to one of these days a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And we had a few people uh, say that we should listen to Sorrow. It, it was actually a tie between this one and Comfortably Numb. So we just decided to try Yeah, because, so. I mean, we, we've heard Comfortably Numb so many times. Yeah. Um, in this particular version, too. Maybe we'll do a rewatch of Comfortably Numb one of these days. But Sorrow is one that we don't listen to that often. Yep. Um, I've heard this song before. Have you heard it before? I heard it before. Okay. But it's been a while, so it's good to yeah. revisit that. Yeah, it's it's one that I haven't listened to in quite a while. So, yeah, this will be a nice revisit. Down in the comments, any other Pink Floyd songs you want us to listen to, let us know. Uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to listen to more Pink Floyd. Yeah. Uh, we're here drinking uh, not Cosmopolitans. They are El Presidente's that are just pink instead of red because I didn't add enough grenadine. So, yeah, that's, yep. that's what's going on here. And this is me drinking nothing. Yeah. He finished his drink already. Oh, you do need more, don't you? I told you. Since Gio finished his drink, we're gonna pour him a little bit of uh, whiskey to sip on while we uh, watch this. This is Green Spot Irish whiskey. We haven't actually done a review on this one nope. before, so um, we need to do that. Yeah, we need to. Sure. All right, cheers. Cheers. Damn it. Well, do you really do that with these type of drinks? The whole. The. I don't know. This is Pink Floyd, Sorrow, from the Pulse concert, I feel like his guitar is mad at me. Oh no. What the heck? I love that sound so mm -hmm. much.
sorrow lies over the land. Blooms of smoke rise, merge into the level sky. A man lies in dreams, in green fields and rivers. But wakes to a morning with no reason for waking. He's haunted by the memory of a lost paradise. In his youth or a dream, he can't be precise. He's changing forever to a world that's departed. It's not enough, it's not enough. The fact that you have symbols that you have to actually jump to hit.
I mean, talk about Ben, I could put you in a trance. Yeah. That was Pink Floyd. What did you think about it? That was Pink Floyd. I mean, that was awesome. I, like I said, that's a song that I hadn't really listened to in a while. Yeah. The solo at the end of that song. And it just, it had a really like... I'm glad it brought me back. Yeah. A lot of people were saying in the comments that this one... And what was the other one they were talking about too? The Dogs of War have like more of a darker feel to them than a lot of Pink Floyd songs do. Mm -hmm. And I definitely got that here. Like all Pink Floyd songs, it really puts you in a trance. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of forgot, like, I was just like so focused. On yeah. And I kind of like forgot, like, wait, where was I? <laughs> <laughs> you're just like tranced by it. Like, just like you're just watching it happen. You're listening to the music. You're watching this performance. I mean, it's really like an experience. I'm sure it's different because I've never been to a Pink Floyd song, mm -hmm. unfortunately, or Pink Floyd concert. But just watching the video, like the way that they transitioned to the video and tapes like just basically their finger playing yeah it's just like really like oh wait i gotta see this hold on yeah yeah they do a really good job like of just focusing on it. certain things mm -hmm. like when you think of pink floyd like oh yeah pink floyd's big songs like sorrow isn't one that really comes up a lot being able to listen to this song and just really kind of take it in because it's not one of those like when you listen to like the classic rock like radio or playlists like, it's always comfortably numb, or Wish You Were Here, or Money, or one of those. Yeah. You know, getting to listen to this song again, I don't know, it was really, it was really good to be able to listen yeah. to it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. More Pink Floyd. Mm hmm I know that Comfortably Numb was one of the recommendations that was at the top of the list. Yeah. We'll get to that one. Yeah. It's just that we've both heard that song a lot. So it, it would, that one would definitely be a re-reaction or a revisit, um, even more so than this one. Cause even though we had both heard this one before, it had been a long time. Yeah. So, but comfortably numb, not so much. So that's our reaction for Pink Floyd. If you like sorrow. to listen to, wait, what? I just said sorrow. Oh, I think you said saw. I was like, wait, what did I say? I better call Saul. <laughs> <laughs> if you like for us to listen to more Pink Floyd, mm -hmm. subscribe down below. Yeah. Comment on what song you like. Yeah, we'll get to it eventually. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and uh, hit that notification bell so you know whenever we upload. We'll see you next time. Bye.